Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I thought we'll check out another unique Android launcher. This time, one that brings the classic Windows Phone UI to any of our Android phones, giving us this interactive tile layout which is fully customizable, meaning we can take things even further with transparent tiles, play around with their sizes, and even combo the look with other Android customization tweaks. Such as here, I'm using it with our very own Demon Slayer Hashira Live wallpaper, as well as a contrasting icon pack. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here it is, bring you the classic Windows Phone tile look to your phones, the Square Home Launcher where all of your home screen elements, including your app icons, are held within their own tile shapes. And taking things even further, it's even compatible with third-party icon packs, allowing us to come up with some truly unique looking setups. Now using the launcher, you can create a tile for any home screen item, whether that be an app, a quick action tile, such as opening the app drawer, or even these custom photo tiles which, once set up, you can customize to show anything from a desired folder. Additionally, every single one of these tiles is totally resizable. All you have to do is simply long press it, and then using this corner tab, you can enlarge or even shrink it to fit the look you're going for. And of course, repositioning is just as easy. Simply long press it and drag the tile anywhere you want. And for those of you who love to use folders on your home screen, there's also an additional gem here just for you. Not only can you create a group of apps on a single tile, but you can also place them on a 3D cube itself. So all six faces of the cube have a different app or even groups of apps, which you can access by simply swiping to rotate through them all. And of course, this too can be resized to however you want. Now before we look at some basic controls, as well as a few customization options for the launcher, let's go through the setup process. So starting right at the beginning, you can grab this launcher direct from the Play Store itself, where it's available for free as well as a paid version. But don't let that turn you off, because the free version does come with a 14 day free trial with all of the features. Now, as for the setup process, it's super simple. Just work your way through some of the basic customization options, selecting the base look that you want to go with, as well as enabling a couple of the premium options available. Now, you may see some additional pop-ups asking for permissions to access either your storage or a few other things. Just make sure to enable them to get the full experience. Now, let's look at adding in our own tiles. For this, we simply want to scroll to the bottom of our home screens where you should find this plus square. Using this, you'll be able to add new custom tiles straight to the home screen. So whether you want to add in an app, an app shortcut, a launcher action or more, it's all here. Just simply select from any one of these items. And of course, this also includes third party Android widgets. Just simply click here to not only access the launcher's custom widgets, but also any of the pre-installed ones from our phone. And before you ask, yes it does support KWGT widgets as well. Just simply load the widget to your home screen, and then you can simply resize it, and of course, tap to head into the KWGT customization screen. Now as for the 3D cube layout that we saw earlier, for this, just simply load in a new cube item. At which point, you'll have a second plus square item on the home screen. So now, just simply swipe through and tap on each face to add in a new item. Now as you can probably tell, there's a lot that's possible with this launcher, and I highly recommend that you guys check this one out yourself, even if it's only the free version. And now, on a final note, make sure to also visit the launcher setting options. 
Just simply do the pinch or zoom out gesture to access this edit screen. After which, head into the menu and then select Home Options. Now here, you can fully adjust the behavior of the launcher, the size and style of the tiles, as well as apply your own custom app icons and much, much more. Just remember, you get the full premium experience for a full 14 days with the free premium trial. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.